Schedule displays an electronic calendar of time available for service appointments. An appointment editor is used to select existing customers or provide entry screens for new customers. When you click on Schedule, the default view is opening on the Scheduling tab with one of these date ranges and the Resource View mode last selected. The Schedule Options video should be viewed immediately to learn how to set regular business hours, hours visible on schedule, auto-adjust appointment time, drop-off time, and setting up standard or custom holidays. Once the business hours are entered, watch the Technician Setup video to see how to configure each technician's hours available within business hours. While the scheduler opens in a smaller window initially, it can be resized all the way up to full screen. It can also be dragged onto a second screen and left open if you have dual monitors. Schedule display preferences are stored to your user profile and can be recalled from any workstation. New Appointment launches the Appointment Editor to schedule service work. New Shop Event creates a non-customer event in your calendar. Toggle between Day View to 5-Day, 7-Day, Full Week, or Month View as needed. The new Timeline View is an alternative look at your day with shop hours on the horizontal view and the technicians or resources listed on the vertical. This is handy if scheduling a lot of appointments for the same time slot. In the day or week view, these become too small with no at-a-glance information. The timeline view displays customer information without the need for a mouse over. Resource view controls the calendar version displayed. Normal is an overview by customer names and appointments per day. Technician and technician by date Organize the calendar by tech names and then dates and hours or days of the week followed by tech names. Resource and resource by date. Organize it by resources then dates and hours or by days of the week then resources. The show hide checkboxes can be used to add or subtract technicians or resources from view. Columns width changes accordingly. Watch the video to learn how to set up your resources. The Filtering tab provides the ability to include or exclude data by type of record and or by appointment state. It is important to remember to check your filtering settings if certain information expected to be on display is not visible and turn off that filter to restore it. Unlike filtering which changes the schedule view until dismissed, the filter input field results are temporary and used to find something within data currently displayed on screen and not history. It's best used to quickly find a customer or vehicle that is known to be scheduled currently. The Appointment tab displays your appointments under Previous, Today, Tomorrow, and Future headings. Setting the default group switch to Off would remove these headings. Scrolling to the right reveals additional columns such as Order Number and Order Type. Columns may be resequenced by dragging them into place. Unwanted columns can be hidden. Any column may be sorted into ascending or descending order by clicking on the column title just like your work in progress screen. The changes you make to this display are also remembered for future usage. As you type in this search box, it narrows down the appointments list to just matching entries, making it easy to locate something quickly using data from any column. When you hover over a column name cell, a small glyph or icon becomes visible to use in selecting a value from the column, such as a technician's name. Select All to restore everything. Right-clicking on any column name opens a menu of options. A powerful option is Group By. The selected data type can be used to group your appointments. You might group by start date, then by Technician to make your Appointments tab even easier to read according to your needs. Try it out, and if you need to undo it, just click on Reset Layout to restore the default view. The Shop Events tab displays other commitments that impact your shop schedule. These would include anything that is not a customer-driven appointment entry. The controls and options are essentially the same as the Appointment tab. 